everybody. Welcome to Fiber Fun with Olivia. Welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? Can you believe it is this close to Christmas? I just, I just can't. I can't. Anyway, if you are new here, welcome. Welcome to the Fiber Fun Familia. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. My name's Olivia. I love yarn. I love yarn. I like to knit. I like to crochet. I like to nerd out and geek out on anything fiber related. So hence Fiber Fun with Olivia. I hope you all have a little bit of fun with me. Welcome to another chapter of Whips, Sips, and Fiber Fun Chitter Chatter. What's my sip today? Today I am having some Mexican hot chocolate. I'm going to show you which one it is because I did mention it in a prior video. Um, it's the, the box is thrashed, you guys. It's a little bit thrashed. It's called Moctezuma. Moctezuma. This is what it looks like. <laughs> like I said, it's, it's torn. Look at this. We tore into it. And I think we only have two left in there. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, actually, there are three in there. It's these little circles of chocolate with spices and sugar. And I'm going to open this one just so you can see it. But this is what it looks like. And you basically get some milk, heat it up slowly with half, a quarter, or a whole tablet of this. And it, this, this one, this one makes the yummiest Mexican hot chocolate ever. So cheers. So, so good. Okay, a couple of things I want to mention. First of all, I apologize that I did not upload this video on Friday. It's been crazy. It's been crazy, so I am sorry it didn't go up on Friday. Today is Saturday, and we have another crazy day, so I'm trying to film right now, and hopefully I can um, edit and upload it um, same day Saturday. If not, if not at the very latest Sunday. Okay. Um, the other thing... What was I want to do a question of the day every video that I upload. And the reason for that is because I enjoy your comments so much and I enjoy getting to know you all. So I thought it would make it a little bit more fun. We're going to start with an easy one today. With an easy one. Sometimes it'll be fiber related. Sometimes it'll be about you or about whatever. It will always be something random that pops into my mind. Today we have an easy one. Because I am having hot chocolate, it's cold. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area at nighttime, actually at 8 a.m. when we woke up. It was 35 degrees. That's cold for California. <laughs> We're used to it in the winter. That's cold for us, but that's chilly. It feels wonderful because I love cold weather. Um, and then a high of 55, so it's kind of chilly. So the question of today is, is it cold where you are? Where are you? And is it cold where you are or is it hot? Because I know, you know, everybody's in, in different locations. So comment down below, make my day, comment down below and let me know what the weather is like where you are. Okay, so I am going to share a whip with you and a pre-whip, one that I hope to get to because I am super excited about it. Um, I don't have any finished objects to share. I do have a little yarn haul to share because it was my birthday on December 12th. Thank you for all of you who posted and said, happy birthday, Olivia. So thank you. Thank you. Um, my husband wanted to take me out to dinner and I said, you know what? Take me to Michael's instead. <laughs> so we went to Michael's and I, I hadn't been to Michael's in so long and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it so much. I was seriously geeking out, <clears throat> excuse me, and nerdy now. And my husband was like, you're really happy. I'm like, yes, oh my God, best birthday ever. <laughs> so I'm gonna share that yarn haul with you all. Oh my God, I completely forgot. So for my birthday, my hubby and my kiddos gave me two books, fiber related. <laughs> So I'm going to share those with you too. And then I do have, I might mention the magazines. I'm going to, you know, I did purchase two knitting magazines and then my crochet world for February arrived. Um, I'm subscribed to this. So maybe I'll make the magazines videos 
um, on another day because I don't want to make it too long. But let me know if you want to see. This is knit Christmas items from Interweave Knits. They do this every year. They have one special issue where they have a bunch of um, gift ideas. And then Vogue Knitting. I love Vogue Knitting uh, magazines. I got that one. And like I said, my crochet world for February. So let me know if you guys want me to do a magazine preview on any one of these or all of these. Please comment. And um, let's get started. I really hope my hair is not all messed up because you guys, every time I go to video edit my, my videos, I'm like, what is going on with my hair? I guess it's like when it gets too short, it just kind of sticks out. And then when it gets too long, it gets all... Anyway... It is what it is. If you see my crazy hair, you know why. <laughs> Let's take another sip because I just ran up and down the stairs to go get my fiber books. Mm. Okay, my first and only whip that I'm going to be sharing with you all today is using the red Malabrigo that I shared with you all before that I got at my LYS. By the way, thank you for all of your comments. I loved seeing, yeah, I'm not a big red person either, but that's a pretty yarn. Um, I'm not a big red person, but I don't know. I just felt like having a red cowl or scarf this year. So, and I'm reminding myself which Malabrigo. It's Mecha. M-E-C-H-A Malabrigo Mecha Worsted in the color Cereza, Cereza, Cherry for um, Cherry in Spanish, Cereza. So this is my second one. Oh, let me show you what pattern I ended up choosing. I've mentioned before, I'm picky. So sometimes I end up purchasing patterns. I try to look for the free ones, but if I don't find one, I'll look for a purchased one. And I did find on Ravelry this purchased one. It's called Leaves and Bobbles Chunky Cowl with Bonus Erin Weight Pattern. And it's by Sydney and Grace. And I just really liked it. I love bobbles on both knitting and crochet. And so I just loved this pattern. And I loved this fluffy yarn at the end, which in this pattern, I believe is a Louisa Harding yarn that has been discontinued and you can find some on Etsy, but they're pricey. I mean, Louisa Harding yarn is already, <laughs> right? But, um, so I decided this, and as you're going to see, I did choose a yarn from Michael's or did I order it on Amazon? I can't even remember anymore. Oh, let me show you what it is. Yeah, it was, it was at Michael's. It's from Loops and Threads. Chenille Home Slim Maison. Oh, it's the same thing, but in French. So Chenille Home Slim. This is what I decided to choose. And this is a bulky, actually it's a super bulky weight yarn. Was the Malabrigo bulky? You know what? I think this might be bulky. I can't remember anymore. Um, but I did get this bulky and it is in the color cream. And it's super, super soft. So let me show you how I got started on this cowl pattern. This is all I have so far because it's been that crazy busy. Um, so not very much, but that's kind of good because I thought this would look really cute. And, and it might still, but now that I've knit it up, I'm not a big fan of it combined with the Malabrigo, the chenille. The color, I think, goes really well, but when this is knit up, I don't like how it looks. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, is it too blown out again? Let me lower the lighting a little bit. Hopefully that won't blow it out. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'm just not terribly convinced. So what I did, and this one I did order on uh, Amazon, is get another Lion Brand Go For Faux skein in the color Chinchilla. I don't know if you guys remember, a few videos back I made uh, my daughter, my teen daughter, 
a scarf out of this one, the same color, and she loved it. Her friends even loved it at high school. They're like, your mom made that? Oh my God, it looks store bought. I'm like, oh, thank you. It's It was just knit stitch, but the yarn does the work for you. And so I thought this might go really well with this. So I'm gonna try this instead of the cream color. So I'm probably gonna frog this and restart it over again, but I'm kind of excited about how this is gonna look more fluffy. Um, although this is a really pretty cream color, I don't like how the stitches look on it. And so I'm hoping this will hide the stitches and just look fluffy the way that the Louisa Harding uh, fluffy yarn looks here. So we'll see. So I'm going to redo that one, but that's that's my first and only whip. My second soon to be whip because <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to try to get started is a crochet pattern. So we have I bought these Santa hats for the family, my hubs and my two kiddos. Uh, but when I bought the Santa hats, we reuse them every year during Christmas and the Santa hats for my kiddos fit them too small. So they ended up taking mine and my hubbies. And my son loves my hubbies because it has a, a black brim. He loves that. And my husband's like, hey, that's mine. <laughs> and I have a zebra one uh, with pink brim. I should really gra have grabbed them to show you. Maybe I'll show you in another video. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to crochet some new ones and my husband and I can use them or the kids can, whoever. But at least we have two more adult sized Santa hats. And I found a pattern that I loved. Okay, so I didn't print out the first page of the pattern that has the big picture because it was just the big picture and I didn't want to use up all of my ink. But there are some small pictures on the last page of the pattern, which I'm going to show you. It's called Santa plaid hat or plaid Santa hat or holiday plaid Santa hat, something like that. I'll put it, uh, it'll be in the description down below and I'll try to put it down here. But let me show you the pictures. I thought they were so cute. It is a crochet pattern. Hopefully, and this is just a printout. So if the picture is not good enough, then I will try to put it up on the screen with a screenshot. But I thought these were so cute. So I'm gonna try to make a red plaid, red and black plaid one. And I'm not sure about the green one. I might do like a pink and red for me. So we'll see. So I'm really excited about doing these Santa hats too. That's not necessarily a whip because I hadn't, I haven't started it yet, but I'm going to. That is the plan because I'm on vacay from work. Yay! Um, actually, I'm gonna go into work half a day on Monday just because there's some things that I just I, I need to finish. Anyway, let's not talk about work right now. I love my job, but I'm I'm exhausted. I'm really tired and I really need this break, so I'm excited about the break. Okay, let's jump into the yarn haul and my birthday presents. So these are the two books that they got me. Uh, the hubs and the two kiddos. This one is called Design Your Own Crochet Projects. Magic formulas for creating custom scarves, cowls, hats, socks, mittens, and, and gloves, sorry, um, by Sarah Delaney. I have never seen this book before. And what it does, it's really interesting because it has patterns in the books. So I have some patterns for uh, cowls and stuff like that, but they start off with easy ones. And as they're showing you, like it has an intro chapter, of course, where it tells you this is how to use this book. And as they're showing you the patterns, they give you tips on, for example, how this pattern was created. And so you're supposed to be learning from that. So they have multiple patterns of um, scarves, cowls, hats, and all of that. So I thought it was a really interesting way to teach us how to design. Now, I've always said, I don't have that gene to design. Um, I just, I make other patterns and I enjoy doing that. But um, my husband said, it's time for you to start designing your own stuff. You love this. So I don't know. Maybe one day it'll happen. I don't think it will, but you know what? Never say never, right? Because sometimes when you don't find what you're looking for, that's the time to try to create your own, right? So it's a fun, I'm, I've got some nice patterns in here of some nice scarves and cowls, and I am gonna consider, you know, maybe one day designing. I don't know, we'll see. The second book that they got me 
is called Crochet Hooks, Yarn Stitches, Patterns, Projects for the, for the Home and to Wear More Than 130 Techniques and Stitches. And I love this book too. Love it, love it, love it. I had never seen this book either. They have a knitting version of it and a sewing version of this. It shows on the back here. Um, yeah, it's a really cool book. It has lots of beautiful pictures that are, you know, colorful. And I'll show you the table of contents. It talks about tools, techniques, projects, homes, home and gifts, hats and scarves, gloves, socks and slippers, what to wear, toys, bags. So this is what the table of contents looks like. I love that it has patterns, that it has stitches, that it has, uh, you know, it even talks like fillet stitches and it has the diagrams to, um, yeah, even like how to do the edging on a pillow. It has a lot of little techniques, um, even how to make a pom-pom with your own like little, you know, cardboard. I mean, it just, it has everything a newbie crocheter and would need and I'm not a newbie crocheter by any means but it still has a lot of neat things in there that even a seasoned crocheter like me would enjoy um, and would learn from so yeah it's it's a cool book I love this and then it has a lot of projects at the end as well um, you know, I'm not going to show them because, you know, they're, they're purchase patterns, they're in the book, but, um, it's, it's, it's a great book and I love it and I'm excited to, like, be looking at it. Okay, last but not least, let me show you the yarn I got. Now, this is all acrylic yarn and I love acrylic yarn. I know it may not look like it from my most recent videos, but I have used acrylic yarn forever and ever. It's just now the past few years I'm, you know, trying out different brands, going to my LYS and stuff, but I was so excited because I got some yarn that was on sale. So let's jump in. Let's, let's start. I'm going to jump in to the one I'm most excited about, which is this impeccable yarn by Loops and Threads. It's a tweed yarn. I had never seen this before. And it said that it is a new line of yarn. So, you know, I don't know how new it is, but it's definitely new to me. I had never seen it. This is the only one they had left. I went online to see, and there's a pink version, a blue version. They're really pretty, but this is the only one that was left. So I picked up a couple of skeins because I love tweed. And I love this mustard color, it's so fun. Let's see, the official color is gold tweed. Yeah, so let me see if you can see the, the little specks. I'm super excited about this. I don't know what I'm gonna make, probably a cowl or something. Um, but I got two of these. It is worsted weight yarn. It says use a five millimeter hook or a US um, H8. It is worsted weight I mentioned. It is machine washable. Let's see, and it's 100% acrylic. Oh, actually, no, it's 97% acrylic and 3% is other fiber. I don't know what the other fiber is. <laughs> That's interesting, I've never seen that. But yeah, I like it, I like it, like it, like it. I also got some yarn that I've never tried before. This is called Craft Smart Value Yarn Lane. It's from Yarn Lane, and it's in uh, the color purple. And I got this because I thought if I make one of those plaid Santa hats, it might be purple pink. It might be uh, black pink. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. But here is the other one that I got along with it, and this is in a raspberry. You get 354 yards of this, or 7 ounces. It is worsted weight. It is, this one is 100% acrylic. Machine wash cold, gentle cycle. So I think an acrylic with this would be like a plaid, an acrylic, a plaid Santa hat in this would look really cute. 
I'm not sure what I would do the brim with. Would it be white? Would it be black too? I don't know. We'll see. But I really like these. And then what I really wanted to go to Michael's for is this next one. Red Heart Super Saver in the color burgundy. I looked up everywhere to find this. This was the last store in the Bay Area that, well, in my area that had it. And so um, the day before I had looked it up and there were like four skeins of this. And when I went that night, that evening, this was the last one left. So um, I am going to be using this, a cherry red, red heart that I have already in my stash. Is it around here? No. Here it is. This is the cherry red. And so these are going to go together, together to make the red plaid Santa hat with the black ram and I already have a uh, black super um, super saver so this is what the Santa hat probably for my hubby is gonna be or I might steal it I don't know <laughs> so I'm excited about having gotten this one and because all of the acrylic yarn was on sale buy one get one at 50% off I got a second one of these in a color that just called to me I don't know why I don't know what I'm gonna make with it but it just called to me, <laughs> and it's this one. Maybe because it's so, I don't know, maybe, I thought, well, maybe because it's green, because it's Christmas time, but, I mean, this could be used in spring and summer, and I just, I love it. It's so pretty. I don't think I've ever bought this before. It's in the color spring green. What's funny is that when I came home and I shared live on my Instagram, like I usually do, also Fiber Fun with Olivia on Instagram, if you want to follow me there, because you'll see it right when it happens. Um, a lot of you mentioned that you love using this for um, Grinch items. So maybe I'll make a Grinch hat or a Grinch uh, scarf. I don't know. But either way, I just liked it and I ended up getting these two. So that's all the yarn I got at Michael's. And I got one more thing. I got these prim ergonomics knitting needles that I had never seen before. Um, they're circs, circular needles in size US or five millimeter. And the interesting thing that I found, and I don't know if you can see it, it has these little balls at the edges. So I'm like, I think I'm not gonna like that one bit but being the nerd that I am, I must know. I must try them. <laughs> so maybe I'll, you know, just make like a simple knit stitch scarf just to try them out and see how it goes. But I was very intrigued, very, very intrigued. And I'm not familiar with this brand either of needles, but so I will share that with you. Have any of you ever tried Prim needles, Prim ergonomic circular knitting needles? Let me know in the comments because I've I've never tried them. This was new to me and it has been a while since I've been to Michael. So maybe they've been there for a while and I just had never seen them. So that's it for my fiber fun chitter chatter today. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, like I said, let me know what the weather is like in your area. Where are you? Let me know. A lot of you I already know because you've mentioned it. So thank you for sharing that with me. I love getting to know you guys. Uh, but yeah, let me know how cold it is where you are. Or maybe it's hot. Maybe it's not cold. Um, but yeah. And um, because I am going to be um, off from work and on vacation, hopefully there will be a few extra videos coming your way. All right. I will talk to you later. Bye.